yeah, we are further into the game now. We are further into the game now, so I'm not allowed to show any story stuff anymore. But we do have faster cars now and more stuff unlocked. And this is where this is where I play around with suspension and wheels because now I'm gonna put my car into a race road handling so drifting is not gonna be possible anymore this is where I do grip you know there's a differentiation between a race and drift where race you don't you can't, can't drift anymore additionally you have road and off-road so I optimize my car for being on the road and non-drifty can you do a drift event in that setup? No, it's impossible. You will lose the easiest drift event in the game. Oh yeah, they're drag tires. I'm not sure they're drag events though. At least I have not found a drag event. So yeah, can, you can always see like what, what it does to your car. You can see this car is full race, full roads. It's all the way on the left bottom. And we're jumping back into the day. Let's go. So this is where I actually tried to put my car into a drift and I couldn't. I tuned my car all the way for grip, and I tried to, I tried to get my car into the drift. I could. I really wanted to see how grippy grip is, and this is the full grip tune, and I couldn't make the car drift, which I really, really liked. The hype is real, dude. This game is good. This game is good. It's gonna be good. I'm so excited to play this on stream when it's fully out. So what you see right now is complete grip handling. There is no drifting. I tuned this car to grip, so I grip everything, in case, you, in case you didn't notice that yet. This entire car is fully tuned, road and grip, so it's optimized for, for tarmac and to not drift at all. It is actually impossible to put this car into a drift unless you pull the handbrake. So you, can, you notice that I'm hitting the apexes, that I'm slowing down before the corners, and it is actually fast. It's actually really fast. <laughs> But yeah, after, after I drifted too much earlier, you still need to get used to it, but this is grip handling in action right now. And it works in comparison to <laughs> Payback and 2015, the grip handling actually works. I'm gonna do some extensive testing once I have the full game, if grip or drifting is gonna be faster. You know, one thing I hated in Payback is when you go over a curb, you lose all of your handling. That is not the case in this game. This is the time trial on top of the monorail. So yeah, I hilariously failed this event multiple times. It's actually quite difficult, even with a grip tune, to keep your car on the rail. That that is that was a fun challenge. You can see the ghost falling down just as often as I do. Oh yeah, this is where I noticed the moment I hit the gas, my car straightens out. Like I had so much power that the car <laughs> could not turn anymore when I fully slammed down the throttle. You can see my car like straightening out there because I hit the gas too early and too strongly. When you press down the throttle only slightly, that doesn't happen. What just happened? You know where my car just straightened straightened out immediately. Is grip under steering? Nope. I mean a little bit, but not nearly as much as the last two games. It feels it feels natural. It feels like it fits. <laughs> I thought it was a jump. If you actually know how to drive, you can use a grip setup like this one. Hit the brakes, get into the corner, look at that line. Smooth and fast. You don't have to drift. You don't want to drift, it's fine. You can grip in the game. Tune your car for grip, get some road tires and you're good to go. But I actually quite enjoyed my grip session with this car. Alright, drift event. This is the drift campaign. It's separate from the racer and off-road campaign. It definitely needs some getting used to. If you go a certain speed and you steer hard, your car is gonna drift by itself. And I wasn't, I wasn't ready for that yet. So yeah, now I actually, I'm playing on the hard difficulty and I have to get 80,000 points. So I actually struggled quite a bit. This is tough. This was actually really tough. You know, when you snap back to the other side, the car keeps drifting, so you don't have to re-engage the throttle. They just put a lot more effort in this entire game. That's the first thing that I was able to tell while I was playing this. They actually put a lot more effort into this game. Yeah, you can you can tune your setup to be more drifty than grippy, which is definitely something you want to do for this type of event. 
gotta say, I did have quite quite a hard time controlling my car. I needed 80,000 to win this event. So I had to retry. To be honest, the car needed to be a little bit more loose to get more points out of this drifting mode. This is how I got my last points to get up to 80,000 and win the event. That last desperation drift at the very end. So take a look at take a look at the tuning square. So it's a full road car again, right in the middle between racing and drift. Since I enjoyed, you know, racing on the track the most, I just made another race car. Also, this is a lot more powerful than my last car. This is gonna be the fastest car I built in my entire playthrough. Well, the car that I used before that was full grip, so now I wanted to have a car that can drift again, so I can mix up the gameplay. Initial impression, impressions are really good. My initial rating for first impressions, 8.5. So yeah, I'm back to back to drift handling because I wanted to test it some more in a fast car. Graph, yeah, I think the game is polished enough to grab full price. Like this is the this is the earliest build that was playable. There's still gonna be a day one patch to iron out any like this build is like four weeks before the release or something. Or maybe this build was four weeks old as we played it. So between this build and the release, there's like seven weeks of polishing. And I would already buy this for full price recommendation, so yeah. I'm fairly confident you can get this game for full price and not be disappointed, you're gonna like it. <laughs> I love that road that I took there. <laughs> I think I restarted this race. Oh yeah, it was a tunnel, right. I was on top of the tunnel and I was like, shit, why am I not on the road? I definitely crossed the road. Why, why was I not on the road? Well, I was on top of the tunnel. But yeah, the racing feels intense. Downhill even more so than uphill. You get traffic, get to opponents, get open roads. Feels good. <laughs> oh, it's so close. One thing that I noticed at the end of the event, I was carrying a performance part. Take a look at the minimap in my car right now. My car is carrying, see, like I was like, oh, what is this? My car is carrying a performance part, what is this? <laughs> so, the next impulse that I had is, okay, fuck that I lost the race. Let me bank that part. So after I put those upgrades on the car, more racing. <laughs> Went a bit out of bounds there. So yeah, there's some, there's some pretty cool uh, race and track design. 